If you want to be able to take a snapshot or a picture of your entire screen or just a portion thereof and use that snapshot or that image in a presentation or for training purposes, you can do it one of two ways. One way is to find the print screen key on the keyboard. When you find it, go ahead and tap it once and it'll just take a snapshot instantly of your screen. To be able to see it, you just have to open up WordPad or Word and paste it. For example, let me come down here and right click on Word. In the jump list, click on Word 2007 to open up a new blank document. And then in here, just right click in a blank area and go down to paste and there it is. I have two monitors so it took a picture or a snapshot of both. The right side is monitor 1, left side is monitor 2. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to select it and hit the delete key because I want to do another snapshot. Come up here, click on the minimize button to minimize it back down to the taskbar. Another thing you can do with the print screen is if you hold down the alt key and tap print screen, that key, it'll take a snapshot of the active window. So if I have holidays opened, let me drag that out of the way, and I have exercises open, whichever window's active, it'll take a snapshot thereof. So if I select holidays, now that's active. All I have to do is hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and tap Print Screen Key, and then come back down here and click to Restore my Word document, and then right-click in a blank area, go down to Paste, and let me scroll up, and there it is, Holidays. So it took a snapshot of that active window and not of the entire screen or anything else thereon. Now I notice that these snapshots of the screen that you take when you paste them within a Word document, they look fuzzy. So what I recommend doing, and I'll go to this next, is that you take a snapshot, save the snapshot as an image, and then insert the image into the document and not paste it. When you insert images into your documents, they usually maintain their clarity and aren't as fuzzy looking. In any case, let me go ahead and select it, hit the delete key, and minimize that back down to the taskbar and close out of these windows here. Well, we'll leave this one open. Because the other way to be able to take a snapshot besides the print screen key is using the Windows 7 snipping tool. I'm going to come down here and click on the Start button, click on All Programs, go ahead and find the Accessories folder, click on it to expand it, and somewhere in the middle, there it is, Snipping Tool. Click on it. When you click on it and open up, it goes into snipping mode. How do you know? Well, there's a couple things going on. First of all, my screen becomes faded. It's like I'm looking through some sort of film. And then second of all, my pointers turn into a pair of scissors. And you can see right here it says go ahead and draw a line around the area you want to capture. So if I just want to capture this portion, all I have to do is click and drag, and there's my line. I want to come back full circle, let go, and it captures it. And look how clear it is. I can come up here and click on the Copy button, go back down to Word to restore it, and right-click to paste it. Of course, it becomes fuzzy. Like I said, you want to avoid pasting images within Word. It's better to insert them, which I'll show you in just a minute. Let me click on it hit the delete key and minimize it back down to the taskbar. Now in here, notice how the pin is selected. I can go ahead and, well, draw things on it and be able to copy that and paste it in Word if I wanted to. Of course, I've got my eraser that I can click on and erase what I just drew. Click on the drop down arrow for more options. You can have different pens, customize your pen. You can actually click on the highlighter and highlight portions of it saying, look, focus on this. You can send it off as an email and you can actually save it. Click on the Save Snip. It says where do you want to save it? Well, I want to save it on my desktop, and it's on the desktop. If not, I can click Desktop. Let's give it a name, and it's going to be Holidays. We'll call it Holidays 2. And it wants to save it as a ping file. And a ping file is a smaller file, or one of the smallest files that you can get with a lot of clarity, so it's not as fuzzy. So that's a good file to save it as. You can click on the drop-down arrow and save it as a GIF, a GIF is really grainy, but it's a really tiny file. JPEG is almost as nice as a ping file. In other words, it's not as clear or as concise, and also it's a little bit larger. In any case, I'm going to go with the ping. Go ahead and click Save, and there it is on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, the snipping tool. Come back down here to my Word document to restore it. And then that image is on my desktop, so I'm going to come up here, click on the Insert tab, and I can insert this as a picture. Of course, if it was in WordPad, let me close out of here, not save it. Click on the Start button, come up, click on WordPad, and up here you can click on the Picture drop-down arrow, select Picture. It says, OK, where are your pictures? It's on my desktop, and it's the Holidays 2 ping. Double-click, and it inserts it. And look, it's not grainy, it's really clear. Like I said, 
When you paste images within WordPad or Word, they get fuzzy, but when you actually insert them, they maintain their clarity, which I really like. And notice how it also brought in my highlighted holidays. Pretty cool. Let me go ahead and close out of here without saving it. Let me bring up my snipping tool again so you can see other options. Come down here, click on the Start button, go to All Programs, and man, if you use the snipping tool a lot, click on Accessories. Like I said before, you can always right-click on the program, and in the shortcut menu, say that you want to send it to your desktop. Click off in a blank area, and there's the snipping tool, so it's a shortcut. Double-click on it. It goes into snipping tool mode. But if you don't want to just go ahead and click and drag and select a circle, you want something a little bit more structured, click on its drop down arrow. You can do a rectangular snip, a window snip, or a full screen. Rectangular, click on it, changes my mouse into a cross. So when I click and drag, it does it rectangularly and let go, and there it is, which is nice. You can go ahead and click New, do another snip, which is Windows Snip. And which window do you want to be able to snip it on? Well, it's trying to do the full screen here, but I'm going to try to click on that window. It still does the full screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on New, click on the drop down arrow, and there's the full screen snip. In any case, you do have some other options you can click on. Not many, though. I'll let you look at those. Pretty simplistic. Click Cancel. And then when I'm done, I can just go ahead and close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.